Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Illusion Fox Gaming. Today we're going to be doing the quest Community Cohesion. The patronizing Amaro teen is struggling to conceal their di disapproval of your attire. I must say, little one, those garments you're wearing, they are our own original concepts to take it. Clearly they must be, must be, given their rather singular flamboyance. I know dream of stifling a fledgling creator's creativity, but to braid about in your cultivated individuality is hardly praiseworthy. An amaro team of character shares their creations with the community. They do not hoard them for their use alone. To delight in disparity is a mark of the mor morally deficient. Disparity engenders feeling of want and resentment, which degrade the bonds of fellowship. Thus do we encourage creators to share and share alike, else we risk kindling the embers of covetousness and violence that ever smolder in the hearts of all. Therefore, I must implore you, little one, to cast aside your original trappings and don the communal robes. Then you might acquit yourself as an equal among many. In so doing, you will be afforded greater respect and, and autonomy. Worry not, for this will be a simple affair. I recall seeing a gentle soul outside the Hall of Rhetoric carrying robes perfectly suited for one of your diminutive stature. I'm sure they'll be glad to share their wealth with you. But do hurry, little one. The eyes of the Collective are ever watching and weighing your worth. I... Honestly... There, there is some manner of truth to those words but I don't feel like this is the proper tactic to take yes differences can engender violence and anger and disparity but they don't have to that's all in how we approach those differences looking rather smart this day. What can I do for you, little one? Oh, Ropes serve in lieu of your ensemble. Ah, how prudent. Alas, I have nothing I can offer you at this present time. The ones you associate told me carrying earlier were a failed experiment. I never intended to make them so small. So I disposed of them shortly thereafter. By your bemused expression, I gather you had you find it odd that your elders can fail in so simple an application of creation magics. It's more common than you may realize, little one. In this instance, a gaggle of children was passing by as I held the image of the robes in my mind's eye. Simply by becoming aware of their presence was the former influence, and the final project changed. All things considered, it could have been worse. But the other day, I was attempting to conceive a white-haired lion. When all of a sudden this exquisite eagle alighted on the nearby railing, giving me quite the shock and dramatically altering my initial concept. Oh, yes, indeed, it was a most unexpected development, but not an altogether unwelcome one. Great strides are often born from unexpected impetuses. Impet uh, but even in inspiration has its limit. For all the wonders we have wrought, I do wonder if there will come a time when we have fully explored the potential of our powers. When there is truly nothing left unmade, and only iteration and imitation and stagnation remain. But such esoteric matters need not concern you, little one. For now I'd encourage you to embrace your creativity and work your magics without fear of failure. Nevertheless, it would still be in your best interest to don the appropriate robes to avoid excess scrutiny. Why don't you go to the Bureau of Architect and request the appropriate concepts so you can fashion one yourself? I mean, if, if we approach differences in a way of understanding cur and curiosity I mean there are some differences we can't you can't ever in a sense experience or fully come to understand and those would be the differences that make up a complete individual like every little genetic difference between one person and another but that's merely superficial there's entire cultures that go along with various various things that we can share and I guess I'm one who views anything cultural as not necessarily being ever being appropriate as long as it's approached with uh, honor and understanding and going and actually following the practices of that culture properly one with the Bureau of the Architect, little one. Are you here to request a concept pers for personal use? So, what sort of concept did you have in mind? Uh, 
Uh, communal robes. That will take but a moment to prepare. Before I fulfill, I fill your request, I should caution you. Pardon me for asking, but your creative potential is um, relatively low. Is it not? We are trained to assess these things, and I fear that you do not possess the ability to express this concept in physical form. It's almost though you completely lack it. Though that can't possibly be. But regardless of the reason, you need to worry. We have special tools that may be used to address this very eventuality. I will furnish you with an etheric rope you can use to strain one of the misbegotten cubuses that congregate in the plaza north of the Academia Niter. You'll need to weaken your quarry before you can reliably blind them, but once you have, you can repurpose their energies to create the, your own robes. Like I remember a long, long time ago, before it really became more common for people to... Uh, in this day and age, to question cultural appropriation and all that, uh, I, I decided to convert to Buddhism a long time ago, and I got accused of appropriating someone else's culture for it. I disagree, but it, that, I mean, I also get their point. I'm more or less a miserable. At this point, middle age, but at the time I was there, I was just a teenager. But, uh. I mean, we should embrace other people trying to learn and experience the various cultures we have. I, I refuse to view it as cultural appropriation. Like I said, sometimes you're actually properly using these things. Now, like social media yahoos going, such and such is my spirit animal without ever actually going through any of the rituals or even actually naming something that's an actual animal. Now, now that's clearly very wrong. That That's doing it without any kind of respect for uh, any culture, really, let alone Native American culture where that's most prevalent. Welcome back, little one. Did you succeed in biting a cubus? You have done well, little one. Allow me to siphon its energies and prepare that matrix for you. It should only take a moment. Here you are, a creation matrix that you may use to generate your own robes. The concept is inscribed on the crystal, which has been infused with the aether of the beast you brought you brought me. What were you looking at me the, as though you do not know how to channel the powers of creation? It is as natural as breathing. Even a newborn babe has the instinct. If your potential is lacking as one of our people, you must surely know what to do. You 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 give far, far too much credit, dude. But that's a little, a little rant, talk, conversation, starter, what have you. Make of it what you will. Uh, and the quest community cohesion. Hopefully we'll see you again either for another video here on YouTube or maybe one of our many streams over on Twitch. Till then though, have a wonderful rest of your day.